At the crack of dawn this morning, members of the Lost Tribe were already making their way to the Queen's Park Savannah to begin the final day of Carnival 1999. Those who still had sleep in their eyes while the band was assembling at 8 this morning were soon revived by the sounds of the Lavantil Rhythm Section and Malik Tassa drummers. By 10.30, Minchel's Lost Tribe was ready to cross the stage, breaking tradition with the late evening crossing. But the mask maker saw good reason for the final decision. This band is that it, 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 it is not stark in its contrasts. It is a tribe and it has to remain faithful to its chosen theme. The sections must visibly belong to each other. Um, it's not as though section number one is a hummingbird, number two is a parrot, and number three is a hibiscus. It is a tribe and it is deliberately um, subtle and condensed in its, its um, palette, its chosen palette of colors. Once the band was out of the savannah, the rail party began. Under the scorching sun with only intermittent blessings of cool breeze, Lost Tribe masqueraders were still able to find the energy to carry them through the streets of Port of Spain, chipping and jumping to the music of a band whose music has grown synonymous with Minchel's mass. <laughs> But what is it about Minchel's mask that attracts such a large following every year? He has always has a theme that you can understand. Um, others seem to have themes that just seem to be sequins and beads. Uh, Minchel always has more of a theme that you can understand. I mean, there's no way that you can look at today's uh, masqueraders and not understand that this was a tribe of some kind. I enjoy myself here, one. And I think that I feel honored to play with Amanda Creative. Creativity, the use of material, environmental material and so on. Natural. As the sun went down on yet another carnival Tuesday, Mitchell himself could not help but reflect on the tribe's success. But all in all, it's, it's been a happy and uh, successful is not the word I would use. And a happy and rewarding day. Daniel Reynald, TV6 News.